What's up guys, welcome back. It's December and that means winter is on the way and for me, that means it's soup season. So today I'm gonna show you guys one of my absolute favorite soups of all time, Zupa Toscana. This is a favorite if you go to places like Olive Garden, but I'm gonna show you how to make it even better at home. Before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Today, we're gonna use a little bit of kale. I'm slipping in some healthy veggies on you. This is honestly my favorite way to eat kale. If you guys got a better way, let me know in the comments. We got russet potatoes. You use Yukon Gold or whatever potatoes you like. Some half and half or some heavy cream. Here we have some Italian sausage. For my people that don't eat pork, you can skip the bacon and use turkey sausage instead. But for the rest of us, we got some thick cut bacon. We've got a diced onion. We've got some roasted garlic better than bouillon. Keeping it nice and simple today with the Italian herb paste and the chunky garlic paste. And this episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. Tis the season for saving money wherever we can. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout, so you can use those savings for holiday gifts or to treat yourself. HelloFresh can also help you eat better amid all the holiday temptations. Their meals have 20% fewer calories than takeouts. So you can still have full flavor just without the guilt. And as your calendar starts to fill up this season, you can count on HelloFresh to get you some of your free time back by making cooking simple and quick. Each recipe and pre-portioned ingredients come right to your door so you can skip the grocery store and a lot of the prep work. And personally, that's what I love most about HelloFresh, the convenience, the flavorful meals, and it helps me stay in shape when my schedule gets hectic. I've been using HelloFresh long before they are ever a sponsor of this channel, and I think you'll love them too, so go to HelloFresh.com and use the code MrMakeItHappen18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com, code MrMakeItHappen18 for 18 18 free meals plus free shipping. Nothing better than saving some time and money during the holidays. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and peel the potatoes. This step is optional. There's a lot of nutrients in the skin, so if you wanna leave that on, then you can. But we're gonna go ahead and peel it today just for presentation purposes. Real nice and simple, you guys know how to do this. You don't have to get it all the way peeled if there's some spots left of the skin, no big deal. Unless it is a big deal to you, then remove the skin. All right, so for this preparation, guys, you wanna slice the potato nice and thin, that way it cooks quickly. It's almost like you're making like thick cut potato chips. And then we're gonna cut those into quarters or you cut them in half. You want them to be able to fit on the spoon, but as they get tender, they'll kind of break up a little bit anyway. So it doesn't really matter. There's no right or wrong way to do this. This is the way I like to do it. You can just take a stack of them either cut them in half like that or cut them into quarters. I prefer quarters, they cook a little faster and they fit on the spoon better. So this is about the size that I like. Again, quartered, fits right on the spoon, nice bite-sized piece, and it's gonna cook a little faster than those big circles. All right guys, I'm not gonna bore you with all the details. This is just a general PSA to clean your potatoes. You wanna rinse them under some cold water two or three times until the water runs clear. Get in there with your hands, make sure they're nice and clean. And then last but not least, we gotta prep our onion. All right, so two hour Dutch oven or soup pot, whatever you decide to use, we're gonna add a little bit of oil and about four to five slices of thick cut bacon that we already chopped up into small bite-sized pieces. And we're just gonna let this render some of its fat and flavor and get nice and crispy for us. Let's do it. That's the goal. All right guys, so as you can see, the bacon's gotten nice and crispy for us. It's rendered a lot of that fat and flavor. We're gonna throw it right here on this paper plate and let it drain. Breaking out the fine china for you guys today. Then we're gonna add our Italian sausage right on into that bacon fat. Cause why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time, and the fat is flavor. Tell that to your doctor next time you go for your physical. I'm gonna kill the heat, that way the skillet's not too hot. Once you cook the sausage and the onions, if you notice that there's too much fat in there or it's too oily, you can go ahead and drain it at that point. I'm gonna wait until I cook the sausage though to do that because the sausage is gonna render some fat as well. I'm gonna wait until I cook the sausage though to do that because the sausage is gonna render some fat as well. 
Just want to give it some time over medium heat. Allow the sausage to brown up. Tons of flavor in this soup, guys. Way better than Olive Garden. No offense to Olive Garden. But you got to try making this at home. It's one of my favorite soups. Every time it starts to get cold outside, this is one of my first ones that I run to. All right, so once we remove the sausage, guys, we're going in with one diced onion. You can add some fresh garlic at this point, too. If you want to, we're going with garlic paste today to keep it nice and easy. We're just going to sweat those onions down for two to three minutes, let them get nice and tender, absorb all that flavor that's in the bottom of the Dutch oven. Speaking of flavor, we're going to go ahead and add in a teaspoon of roasted garlic, better than bouillon. In goes the garlic. We're also going to add some garlic paste. Amplify the garlic flavor even more. We're also going to add in a teaspoon or so of this Italian herb paste. Tons of flavor going in here, guys. Give that a good mix. We're going to hit it with some of my AP seasoning or just a little salt and pepper at this point. Whatever works for you. Next up, we're going in with some crushed red pepper flakes. If you're using hot sausage, you don't need to use the red pepper flakes unless you want it extra spicy. Your house is gonna be smelling amazing. And then next up, we're going in with six cups of chicken broth or chicken stock. Now, once you got your chicken stock in there, we're gonna go ahead and add those potatoes, bring them up to a boil for about 15 minutes or until they're fork tender. All right, so once your potatoes start to get nice and tender, you're looking for a fork tender potato. We're gonna go ahead and add back in that sausage and the bacon. Give that a good mix. And at this point, since we've added all that bacon and sausage, we're gonna offset it with some kale for health. About three or four cups. Good way to sneak in some veggies on the kids. Then we're just gonna cover that with a lid and let that kale get nice and tender as well. All right, so once the kale gets tender along with the potatoes, we're going in with about a cup of heavy cream or half and half. We're also gonna add in some grated Parmesan cheese. That's the color that you're looking for right there. Oh man, that my friends is Zupa Toscana soup. At this point, you want to go ahead and season it to taste. Add that cheese and we'll be ready to plate this up. All right, guys, we went ahead and plated this up. Now it's time for my favorite part of the Olive Garden. When they ask if you want Parmesan cheese and you say, hell yeah. And then they tell you to tell them when they've added enough cheese and you just stare at them. There we go. A little fresh cracked black pepper for good measure. And that my friends is a perfect bowl of Zupa Toscana. All right, now it's time for my favorite part of the job, the moment of truth. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. And now my friends, it's time for the taste test. Here we go. Mm. My man didn't give me a countdown or nothing. What's up, guys? Welcome back. I don't even know what I want to say. All right, Hope ready? The weather is here. It's warm outside.